Alright, so anyway, I didn't get summoned. Well, I guess I should probably take the ring off. I did not end up getting summoned. I'm assuming it's just, it's a combination. What should I actually equip here? Poise, poise. Poise, poise. Um, I would assume it's just a combination of, you know, lack of a ton of activity. Obviously, there's some, because we've been seeing plenty of messages. Decent amount, not plenty. Decent amount of messages and a few bloodstains. But just... You know, just a combination of certain lack of activity as well as probably being too high of a level to really efficiently invade there. So that's that. Just go ahead and handle these dudes. Yoink. I think I can kill them as they get up. Yay. Things are very easy. Yay, I got the item! Black Knight weapons do I not? I think I don't have... I know I have the great... Actually, I think the Great Sword is the only one I do not have anymore. And this is the Great Sword, dude. So let's see if we get it. Because I know I got the Great Axe. That's cool. I suppose I'll take it. But yeah, somebody's gonna die. Somebody done died. Boink. And it's this motherfucker right here. See that blood stain. Let me see how you die, boy. I like how you die, boy. Ha! <laughs> Damn, he got thrown up the mountain. Hey, I got the Black Knight Great Sword. So now I have all the Black Knight weapons. None of which I will ever utilize. Isn't that exciting? should not have hit me. That definitely should not have hit me. You're a cheating bitch. Has anybody ever told you that? You are such a cheating bitch. Just go and die. Yay, Black Knight stuff. Alright, so here will be Soleri. And we are certainly going to use all of him. Oh, you know what? I actually forgot to uh, show base. I mean, let's let's just. I'll probably die. There's a likelihood of that, but yeah, the, when you first walk in here, before you actually get to that area with like the platforms that you have to cross and shit, the view is absolutely amazing. I mean, it basically looks like you're walking through a sun, not through a sunset. But like you're uh, you are approaching a sunset. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Oh. I thought there was going to be more. There was not. There there was not. There was nothing. Thank you, Solari. Your grand contribution. I'm still I still don't understand why the hell I uh I couldn't use power within in the four kings fight. That was very weird. Did I have one? You know what? Maybe I didn't have one. That's right, because... Damn! I successfully parried that once. Just once. Oh, that sucks. How much is that going to hurt Solari? That's probably a fucking lot. Actually, that was not bad. How did that not stagger him? Oh, thanks, Solari. Solari just saved me. Actually, you know what? I deserve to die. Hey, no, no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to live through the fight by virtue of Soleri. I want Soleri to be here for the purpose of it, but I do not want him to basically save my ass. I should have died right there, and I would have died had Soleri not staggered him and taken the aggro. I just want Soleri to be there for the flavor. Plus, now I get to show off the view, so everything's fine. Everything's good. Everything has worked out as it should. Oops, nope, not that one. But yeah, I, th I wonder if that's what it is. Like, was I just not? I think. 
come to think of it, that probably was it. I just didn't have a power within. But I'm trying to think. No, because I had to have. I had to have rested, right? Like I didn't just go straight there from another fight. No, you know what? I didn't rest. No, because Homeward Bone counts as resting, I believe, doesn't it? I'm just trying. Oh, but that wouldn't even ma have mattered if I went from Sif, because I didn't use Power Within against Sif. Yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. I don't know. Maybe I did end up using it at some point in time. Maybe I didn't. I don't fucking know. I just don't see how, because that was the only... Sif was the only dude I fought before the Four Kings, and I did not use Power Within against Sif. So I just don't see how I would not have had it available. Fuck it, I don't know. Oh, did I fuck it up again? I think I fucked it up again. Hang on. I think it's actually when you just first walk in, it looks fucking amazing. But I need to get to that point. I mean, obviously the ground part doesn't look fucking amazing. See, you can see it from here. Look at that, dude. Just look at that. It looks fantastical. I mean, aside from the fact that the sky kind of looks like a painted on ceiling. <laughs> aside from that, if you don't look at it for too long, it looks fucking amazing. Let's go with that. I'm not getting hit from behind again. Put it in your butt first. That's how I operate. This is good though. I'm stacking up on chunks. Because I'm in a new game plus and use the painted guardian sword. No, I'm not. I'm not. It's not going to happen. I've played this game too many times now. Like after after I did the great scythe run, I, kind of, I started another one. You can see, I believe I actually mentioned. Oops, why am I waiting around? I'm supposed to be moving forward so I can fight the... Black Knights before Solari gets there so he doesn't end up taking unnecessary damage. Um. Shit, what was I going to talk about? Hi. Somebody got hops. We have that Myrmidon file that I was supposed to do. Well, not that I was supposed to do, that I was going to do. And the entire point of it was to, uh, use the Silver Knight Spear and the Silver Knight Sword at the same time. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Good job. Hey, it's another summon sign. What you look like, homie? That's the Silver Knight Shield, right? What weapon they using? Oh, that's a halberd of some sort. Spin to win? Spin to win. Let's try this shit again. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Dance my bad. Well, definitely not gonna fucking happen now. No, 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 don't, don't grab him. Shit. Oh shit. chance at that parry again that's the pro see like man that one he was so close to getting staggered that Solari's hits ended up staggering him and Solari doesn't do very much damage darn gives me another chance for that parry I don't know why I hit the wrong button that's weird I'm gonna run by the Dark Knights this time though well most of them not most of them the very first two if I run by the rest Solari's gonna end up dying we don't want that can't be having that 
I didn't even finish the story about the New Game Plus thing. So, or not the New Game Plus thing, but just playing through again. After I finished the regular Great Scythe playthrough, I wanted to try to do that Myrmidon thing. Tire Point, Silver Knight Spear, Silver Knight Straight Sword. And I got about 30 minutes into it before I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I have so many other things I could be doing with my time that does not include beating the game again for the, like, 10th time now. And I'm like, it's really fun, like, honestly, were it not for the fact that, oops, I'm supposed to be running by you, were it not for the fact that I would have had to, um, get all the way to Ain Orlando into the Silver Knights to end up getting the weapons I wanted to, I probably would have kept doing it. But that was really the only thing that stopped me, was that I was just kind of like, nice dodge, jackass. But yeah, that was the only thing that ended up stopping me, was just the thought that... I need to get all the way through here using weapons I don't really care for, I don't really want to use. Just to get the weapons I want to use in the first place. So that stopped me. See, I don't think those other two end up following further than uh, the start of that. Ooh, that, might, that dude might be trying to get a little bit further in. How is that not a backstab? Come on, son. Oops, oops, oops. Oh shit, he is coming further in. Hello. Oh, he stops. Goodbye. Damn it. This might be bad. This wasn't supposed to take me so long. <laughs> I, uh, I finished off my water. And I didn't bother getting another one because I didn't think it would take me this long. I thought it would take two attempts max. To be fair, I would have killed him the first time, but that's not the way I want to win. It's kind of silly to think that way to begin with, given the fact that I'm still you. I mean, like, I'm still using Solari. Obviously, he's still, like, regardless of how much of an effect I let him have, he's still going to have an effect. He's still going to pull aggro, uh, regardless of what I do, or regardless of what I, my intentions are. Let's try this shit again. Damn! Oh, every damn time, Solari. Every gosh darn diggity time. I'm not sure if that was like a taunt. How did I not end up blocking that? Oh, that was supposed to be a fucking damn it. See, like right there? He just saved my ass again. This time I'm gonna accept it though. Come on, man. That's not good. Oops! Wow, there's me paying attention to power within. I'm stupid. I was so I was so focused on making sure I didn't die to him to like looking for an opportunity to heal and I wasn't even paying attention to power then that's my fault that's my bad that's my bad that's my bad this is just not this is not a good look this is really not a good look I should not be having this much trouble all of it's my own fault like I keep here's actually the thing here's the problem the Great Scythe did stagger him in one charge attack and then one regular attack. The Life Hunt Scythe is not. You know what, actually, I think the addition that throws it over the edge was that the Great, obviously, the Great Scythe is buffable because it doesn't have... Actually, I don't think any of the, uh... I'm trying to think. I don't believe any of the boss weapons are normally buffable using, you know, stuff like Gold Pine Resin or Charred Resin. Or any of that stuff, whereas, uh, obviously the normal weapons that you can buff up to plus 15 are. I think that's the same thing with, like, any of any weapons if you turn them into, if you modify them in any capacity. That went right over my head. Um, if you modify them so you make them divine, magic, whatever, that also takes away the ability to buff them. But yeah, I'm fairly certain it's not possible to buff any of the boss weapons, but Gwyn somewhat 
confusingly. I, I, I have no idea, like, how anybody would think to try this. Like, why is the Lord of Cinder, basically the Lord of goddamn fire itself, whoa, is somehow weak to fire. And so I used charred pine resin on him. So I'm sure that's what really pushed it over the edge and allowed me to stagger him in two hits. So that's what I keep expecting. Like, oh, I staggered him with the Great Scythe in two hits. Surely this boss soul weapon <laughs> would be just as, if not more, effective. But no, it's not. That's why almost everybody will suggest, like, will tell you, like, don't just get a weapon to plus 15. Screw modifiers. Screw boss weapons. Just get a regular weapon to plus 15. It will be superior in every way, shape, or form to the boss weapons. And unfortunately, that's true. It really is, because, I mean, it's just, it's the scaling factor. I don't know if they didn't expect for scaling to have as much of an impact as it did. I would assume they would have to, given that they created the game. But yeah, it's, ve it's very weird. I don't understand entirely. Uh, why? Oops, I forgot to power within. Well. Damn it! Oh, it's supposed to change. Huh. Oh, this motherfucker. That. Uh, I hit that button. Stagger? Shit. Okay, he must not be staggerable out of that, because that's. That's happened to me multiple times. Did that even do any damage to him? Oh, you know what? It's because I don't even have power within. Oh, he's focused on somatic. That's why. I was, uh... Assuming I was doing... I was assuming I was doing power within damage, and I wasn't... I was not, obviously not. I did not have power within equipped. So there we go. There goes Gwen. Thank you, Solari. He did obviously have an impact there. Like, I would have died had I, uh... Had Solari not been there. Well, I guess I would have played more carefully, so it's not in absolute certainty that I would have died. But anyway, let's watch this ending. Because this is the ending that I did not get initially. We didn't get it because it was creepy as fuck. Let God and Frank serve your highness. Also, we are here to serve your highness. I don't understand why they just say let us, Crothay and Fram serve when there's like ten of them there. I I mean, are they all? Are they all? the same dude or are the other ones just ignored and uncared for or what so anyway that's that that is dark souls let me just first and foremost obviously thank you so much to everybody that stuck with this along the way i know that's how playthroughs work like the first video and the last video of any playthrough are generally going to be the most watched pieces of that unless certain parts end up going viral and like you know something really awesome or you know just something occurs in the middle of it that ends up being everybody's like yo you gotta see this but in general the majority of the time the very first and the very last videos of a playthrough are the most watched and then everything in between kind of just tapers away get less viewership so um just obviously first and foremost thank you to everybody that you know came along watched this entire thing engaged in it uh, you know, all the likes, all the comments, all that shit. It's obviously always appreciative to have various forms of input or even just general commentary on things. It's awesome. And I cannot thank the people enough that do that sort of thing. Also, I mean, I, not to, you know, push aside the people that do just watch and enjoy but don't necessarily feel the need to input their own opinion. You guys are awesome too. I'm not saying like that's necessary or I hate you. Oh, you guys are great too. So, thank you for watching despite all of the uh, obvious flaws that this had due to, you know, the microphone shenanigan, me ending up uh, deleting the game or the dele yeah, deleting all the videos in the first place. Although it kind of did end up 
working a little bit better because um, you got a little bit more not a ton of weapon variety, obviously, but I did use the Gold Tracer for that little tiny bit. Ricard's Rapier for the Ruins of Anor Londo. Why do I keep saying Anor Londo? The Ruins of New Londo. Versus the original one, I only used the Great Scythe the entire way through. There was nothing, I don't think, maybe, did I, I don't, I can't think. I just, I'm pretty sure I only used the Great Scythe and the, um, whatever the hell, the Black Bow of Ferris. Also, there was no PvP in that one. I stayed disconnected the majority of time until I went into the DLC area. And then once I did start staying connected, nobody else, there was nobody else joining. So we got at least a little bit of PvP, even though I know it probably wasn't terribly entertaining, given the fact that I suck at it. And, you know, there's a lot of adaptation uh, in regard to getting good at the PvP of this game, thanks to the fact that you need to kind of avoid the thought of... I need to react and instead be in the realm of I need to predict like l let me analyze let me play safe and let me see what I think this guy is going to do let me get in this dude's head and analyze his actions and then from there I can try to make accurate reads based on what they're going to do that's kind of what the PvP of this is all about and I'm perfectly fine with that like I'm not trying to say you know oh you know not having perfect connections and perfectly showcasing exactly what's going on because honestly I would take this form of like you know a little bit of delay but everything looks smooth versus basically having it where like they take the character you're fighting takes half a step and then warps over two steps and it like makes it look all janky and shit nobody wants to see stuff like that so i understand why they made the online the way they did so anyway it's enough of that for now thank you again just thank you for watching thank you for enjoying and uh I enjoyed it so that that's that's what matters I don't care about any of you it's my enjoyment that matters but just so I can just for shits and giggles since I actually did not end up using power within I will be able to use it against the asylum demon and I'm gonna go ahead and do that my bleed is still built up why the fuck is my bleed still built up come on son come on son so the hope here Remember, the Asylum Demon, I'm not going to be... Uh, unfortunately, I did do this at the end of the last playthrough. But I can't really be as hype about it anymore. Because I already did it. I already done did it. It's not impressive no more. And I'm not going to fake it. The ladies don't like it when you fake it. How would a dude fake it in the first place? Just not gonna. It's not going to happen. So actually, the one thing I, I noticed... You can actually see the Asylum Demon all the way up there, which is really cool, in my opinion. But anyway, let's go break this dude into pieces. Darn, it did take three attacks. I was hoping it would only take two. So anyway, that is that. There goes the Asylum Demon, bodied, booted out this world. I am out. Thank you, everybody. Peace.